Hi, in today's video I'll be showing you how to create a reflective wooden floor using pan pastel and coloured pencils. Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial video. This is part four of a series of videos um, which I filmed to show the creation of this portrait from start to finish. So part one showed how to create the underpainting of the dog itself using Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils and pan pastels. Um, part two showed how to build up the fur texture on the dog using colour pencils. Part 3 showed how to create that tartan dog bed using watercolour pencils wet and dry. And now we are on to the final part, part 4, um, where I create the reflection. So it's a reflective wood floor surface um, in front of the dog in the foreground. So I'm using for this mainly my pan pastels. You can see from the reference photo that the dog was actually draped. It did have um, some like yellow fairy lights over the top. So I adjusted. I've got other photos of this dog which I use more for its colouring. So more of the whiteness of the fur. Um, and again, I need to eliminate those fairy light reflections in the um, when I do the floor itself. So literally I'm using pan pastels, about half a dozen um, colours, and I'm using my soft tool to apply, um, literally, just as I see it, the reflection, and I'm looking at the animal itself and just putting in a hazy reflection. And all I'm doing really is just looking, I'm not thinking about it being the dog, I'm just looking at the shapes and the shadows, um, colours, hues, values actually in my reference photo and I'm following those like I say I'm just eliminating where I can see the yellowness of those um, Christmas fairy lights that are shining through. So just a soft hazy um, nice layer of the pan pastels going down. I'm just careful to look at the directions of all the detail that I'm putting in. I'll come back in here later on anyway with pencil just to tweak and brighten up some of those sharper um, highlight lines. So just a dark area over here, lots of greys, a little bit of um, like an ochre colour going in there as well, burnt umber, a little touch of a Payne's grey to give it the blueiness as well. But like I say, just literally following what's in my reference um, and then I'll come across this is sped up like three times speed so it took um, approximately an hour and a quarter to do um, and this literally it's all it is literally just using a soft tool carefully placing in and blending to create that soft hazy it's amazing really how quickly this effect builds up um, I was going to leave no foreground, I was just going to leave it near the bare paper, it looks lovely as it was. Um, but I decided just to take it a little bit further by adding in the reflection and it does create a lovely dramatic finish by the end. So again, lots of these muddy dark colours over on this side mixed with greys for the highlights. And then when we come over to the far side, we do exactly the same thing, we just start to place it in using... Um, some of those red and orange tones from the bed itself. But again, some of the little details, the, the stripes, the hints, the reflections of the green in the, in the weave of the tartan, I'll use a pencil for as well, the same pencils I used in the bed itself. So I shall leave this here and then come back to you a little bit further on where we're just popping in the details.
Okay, so I'm joining you again here. As you can see, I continued as I started out along the bottom, just popping in all that haziness across the front left hand side, up the middle. And then we popped in the hints of all those reds um, as they'd be reflected from the bed itself. And now I just picked up my pencils and I'm going back in using the same pencils I used on the bed itself. Um, so here I'm just popping in the hint of those green um, thread stripes that run through the bed itself. Um, I use the, the cream for the hints of the um, reflection of the lettering. But again, I'm pretty much following that reference. I'm not looking at it as being a reflection of the bed itself, apart from the key points like there where I need those stripes to be coming out um, and looking like they are reflecting. So, because basically where the bed is closer to the floor, the reflection will be slightly sharper. Um, you'll see as well, I'll come in with a soft tool or even my fingers just to um, soften up some of the lines as well. So I'll use, again, I'm just going to fill in, use some of my um, pencils to block in and match, colour match some of those colours to the bed itself, add in some of the stripes. And then as we come back across, I will also pick up um, the same pencils that I used up on the dog just to tighten up the, the hints of the brighter lines of reflection over on the left hand side. So, for example, the outer edge of that paw that we can see, we need to add in it's sharper because the light on the paw on the side of that dog there is quite bright in the reference photo. So we'll need to add in more of the hint of that to exaggerate it again just some of the shapes around the muzzle as well um because like i say same as where the bed is closest to the floor where that dog is closest to the floor as well we just need to put in a tiny touch more detail of the reflection whereas as the further away say as you get up you know past the dog's nose the distance away from the floor then is further and the reflection is a lot hazier hope that makes sense um, and I'll just come back to you closer to the end of the video.
Okay, so we're coming to the end of this video now. As you can see, I've just worked my way all the way back across, popping in little hints of those highlights. Here's where I'm just marking out. Remember I said about the outer edge of that paw being a little bit brighter in the reference. So I've just brightened up a hint of it there as it comes away from where the paw's touching the floor. Same here as I'll go along, I'll just mark in some of those little tiny details to accentuate um, where the reflection is strongest and then just pull it down into vertical lines as well as it comes away and that just those tiny little tweaks just increase that hint of reflection um, quite dramatically so i hope you enjoyed this um, series of videos if you want to see all four videos uh, start to finish, then these are available over on my Patreon. And um, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do um, remember to hit the button bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber really helps my numbers. And of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or even better, pop a comment below. If you have any questions also, please do pop them below. So thank you very much for watching and I shall leave you in a second with um, the scanned image of the final piece. Thank you.